Raving Squirt. Unreal. Fimus. Buenas, ¿qué tal? Pues vamos con el capítulo 3 de los nueve monjes. En los nueve monos de Shaolin. No sé si es que está mal traducido o qué, pero en fin. Es lo que pone. Seguimos. Con la exploración. Why is my new name so similar to Dao Shan's name? The name of every new Shaolin monk is made up of three parts. The first, Shei indicates that the monk belongs to our temple. We don't usually pronounce that part. The second part is taken from a strict order of names described 300 years ago in the poem by Abbot Fuyu. It is the same for all the students of one teacher, so my followers are always called Tao. The third part is unique for every monk and is made up by the teacher. Let's move on to more pressing matters. Now that you are one of us, I would like to teach you another one of our techniques. Not many people know of it, and even less can do it. It is based on being able to completely control your chi. We usually start teaching it after months of preparation and meditation, but we don't have enough time right now. So, al final, la, la dinámica es. Eh... Entrenamiento, secundaria, This technique is called the three ground seals. Unlike southern elements, it works best when fighting against several opponents. This style drastically differs from everything you have gotten used to. Earth seals allows us to use chi for an indirect effect on your foes. The first seal is the seal of harmony. It weakens your enemy's defenses. The second seal is the seal of levity, which lifts opponents into the air. Finally, the third one, the seal of concentration, draws the enemies towards you. Acuérdate tú luego de hacer esto en combate. Vamos con los chakras. No los he terminado de encontrar. Aunque ahora tenemos dos máscaras disponibles. Así este que su bola. Vale, esto. El utilizar el que restaura salud, vale. Incrementa la velocidad de ataque. históricas servido nos indica que su aldea estaba siendo tomada por piratas y esta viene siendo la principal por siempre vamos primero por la secundaria 
Just a little crack of that. I'll have to force my way through the grass. Estoy equivocando de botón. Amarillo proporciona energía infinita durante 5 segundos. Vale, a ver.
won't dare to poke their noses in here again. Vale. nuevas Juan Chan ha enviado otra carta en la que nos felicita por la victoria Wong Tai Shin the official who told us the location of the Wuku base has sent us another letter he congratulates us on our victory and thanks us for helping the local residents while the head of the province does nothing gratitude doesn't make a meal it would be better if he sent in the army Wong Tai Shin is just the censor and censors don't send out armies he can only arrest those guilty of incompetence or corruption. The official also says that the situation is more complicated than it seems at first glance. He has invited me to his temporary residence in Hongzhou to discuss it in person. Zhang Lu and Dao Kung will accompany me. Sí que pierde el rollo eh, que de mi rescue yo me de historia por ver todo más fluido. The Wuku have attacked the residents. Guan Li, what's the plan? Our first priority is to protect Wang Tai Xin. The residence is very large and we don't know exactly where he is. We'll have to split up and scour the whole territory. As soon as you find the official, protect him until the others arrive. son muy psicodélicos.
Pues ya he encontrado un secreto, a ver. Ah, me estoy equivocando de botón. Se le ha ido un poco la pinche. Vamos a volver a empezar porque se le ha ido la pinza. The Wuku have already found out about your arrival somehow. Ah, oh, there is no mystery in that. The provincial governor is colluding with the pirates, and I have evidence to show his complicity in what is happening. That explains why nobody has gathered the troops and driven back the pirates so far. Why can't you arrest him? Hmm. You may not have heard. But our Emperor has passed away recently after a long illness. His son, Juitsu, who is still a child, has now ascended the throne. The young Emperor's retinue has been trying to agree on who will be regent until he reaches his majority. So far, all these advisors, eunuchs, and nobility have been mired in feuding and arguments. The common folk are suffering, and all they care about is power. Oh, uh, this is sadly true. Like all censors, I only obey the Emperor or his regent, and only he can authorize an arrest. My hands are thus tied in the short term. Unlike you, we are not bound by bureaucratic restrictions. We won't interfere in your conflict with the Governor, but if you have information regarding the Wuku, we are keen to hear it. Huh. That's all I was hoping for. As you know, for many years, our country has been under the hygiene, a sea ban that forbids merchant 
ships of other countries from entering the Middle Kingdom ports. I clearly remember it being abolished right after the Wuku were defeated. It was said that lifting the ban would prevent the pirates from reappearing, and indeed, the Wuku were not seen for all those years. But the hygiene had one exception, the Ryukyu Kingdom. It alone was allowed to trade with us overseas, enabling them to amass huge wealth. Now, they've lost their exclusive position. I suspect that the Ryukyu merchants have hired the ex-Wuku to resume attacks. They will use their own people at court to push for the Haiji to be reinstated, using the new pirate invasion as an excuse. The death of the Emperor has also played into their hands. It's bad news all around, as it won't be easy to get to these merchants. Have you ever heard of a person called Fudo? One of the Wuku leaders mentioned him. Fudo? Hmm. No, I haven't. But I will try to find out what I can. In return, I would ask you to pass on any information that seems important to me. Any leads would be helpful right now. Agreed. Detrás uno que estaba todavía muriéndose. The pigeon has brought alarming news from the monastery at the top of Mount Juhua, one of the sacred mountains in Buddhism. The monks report that they have been attacked by pirates, but managed to drive them off. I know that monastery. Its monks are excellent warriors and have previously taught me a lot. It makes no sense for the Wuku to attack them, however, as the temple is small and holds no expensive relics. This is what we will try to find out. I already have another task for you, but Dao Kung, go there and try to find out what possible interest the Wuku have in the temple. Vamos a encontrar un secreto. ¿No era aquí? Mártir, solo en modo cooperativo. Pues vaya. Bueno, que encuentro no me sirve de nada. La pata del montaje. Hemos oído que los Waco han atacado uno de las minas de plata. Parece que los piratas han decidido saquear las tiendas. Tenemos que llegar a la mina lo más rápido posible y liberar a los mineros. Manda un logro por matar a un amigo en la guía sin que llegar a tocar el suelo. Get through here while the pump is broken.
Esquiva con éxito y recibir daño regenera aquí. Creo que me gusta más el que tengo. La música mola. Han visto los walkers en los uh, cenagos del oeste de Jim High. It's easy to get stuck here. Matar de 50 por eso estoy gastando el... la patada con la rodora. Ahora
Looks like these boxes contained mostly food and supplies. I should tell the farmers in the neighboring village. They'll find these useful. Vamos a completar los ataques básicos. Y así ya. Vamos a topo de power con lo básico. Y ya mejoraremos lo superior. Vamos a... Casi me da. No. Pim, pim, pim. Vamos a por el combate principal. Pero estos tesoritos me los he ido pasando fijo, o sea. The Wuku are attacking the monastery again. I bet the monks have taken shelter in the main temple. Gracias, os seguro dejar feliz ahí. Mola mucho el juego este. Sencillito, un beat and up de toda la vida. Ahí va. No sé. Mira que me podía caer.
rabbit is badly wounded and cannot come outside. But we all thank you for your help. I hope the pirates will finally leave us alone. What were they looking for, do you think? Once upon a time, our temple was the largest in the province. And the legend tells of an ancient relic that was kept in one of the caves. It possessed great power. And only a few chosen monks were allowed to come near it. Two hundred years ago, a strong earthquake destroyed a large part of the complex. It was then decided to move the relic to another safer location, and the monastery soon fell into decline. The pirates could have found out about this relic from an ancient text written before the catastrophe. Do you know where the relic was taken after the earthquake? No clear records remain, but legends usually mention the Temple of Upper Heaven on one of the peaks of Huangshan. Thank you. This information may be of great help. Acabo de caer. The monks think that the Wuku are seeking an ancient relic that used to be kept in their monastery, but was moved to the Temple of Upper Heaven on Huangshan. The Taoist Temple has one relic. This one has another. They're more like tomb raiders than pirates. This is all very strange. If you remember, Shang Lung said that the Wu Ku were also looking for something specific in the monastery on Mount Putuo. Putuo and Zhu Hua are sacred Buddhist mountains, while Long Hu, where we found the first relic, is one of the sacred mountains of Taoism. This reminds me of an ancient legend, but I need to check it first. You certainly will. But first, send a letter to Wan Tai Xin and tell him everything that we have learned. Then, we shall get a group together and visit this temple of Upper Heaven. Its inhabitants may also be in danger. Maestro borracho. Vamos a activarlo, a ver qué es esto. Aquí teníamos un arma nueva. Yo creo que aquí... Ah, no, claro, es que estas son las... Las que ya he hecho. Yo creo que aquí puedo volver y buscar el... Mira, ah, mira, ¿ves? Aquí me dice dónde están los tesoritos que no he capturado. Aquí había uno, aquí había otro. Vale, y aquí había uno... 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2 y 3. Pues estamos apañados. Bueno, aquí se cae uno. ¿Qué tal es este maestro borracho?
roto el, mu el muñequito. Bueno, no sabía ni que debía buscarlo. Estos son fallos del juego más que míos, eh. Pero bueno. Los vamos a aceptar. Porque no queda otra. forma de juego divertida la verdad es que no puedo hacer lo que quiero hacer lo que me Y otra vez es tirar el flojo. Tiene que un fallo esto un poquito. Bueno, no está muy bien el tema de la, de la colisión.
Step away from the holy relic and leave at once, or you'll share the same fate as your minions. Damn, I ran out of time. I told Fudo that he should have ended you a long time ago, but he wouldn't budge. Blasted monastic solidarity. Fudo is a monk? Oops, perhaps I've said too much. Or have I? <laughs> yes, he's a monk. A Japanese one, of course, a Sohei. He frets that so many people have had to suffer, but still justifies his behavior in the name of lofty goals. Uh, he can be such a bore sometimes. But why keep talking about him? Let's get down to business. I'm assuming this is the relic? If by relic you mean one of the sections of the Heshibi Jade Disc, then yes, it is. My guess has been confirmed. Heshibi? According to legend, this powerful artifact endows its owner with incredible power. All the manuscripts state that the disc disappeared 300 years ago during the Mongol invasion. That's right. As the barbarian army approached the capital, the order was given to break up the disc and hide it. The capital was Hangzhou back then, so the pieces were hurriedly hidden in these parts. Why is everything always so complicated? You could have just destroyed the disc. But no, you had to split it into pieces, so that one day, some psychopath would try to unite them and take over the world. While the Heshibi is whole, the energy contained inside it is in constant circulation, and doesn't reveal itself in any way. If the disc is destroyed... This energy will be abruptly released and cause a terrible cataclysm. Right now, the disk is not whole, but the instability of the shards can be controlled if they are kept in special places where power is concentrated. The sacred mountains of the Middle Kingdom are such places. The first shard was hidden in the Taoist Temple on Mount Longhu. The second was hidden in the Buddhist Temple on Mount Juhua and later brought here. The third shard should be kept in a Confucian temple, but we don't know which one. You keep talking about the great power that this disc bestows, but what is it exactly? Heshibi erases the boundary between worlds. Its owner can summon thousands of spirits from other worlds in an instant, and they will all obey his will. He will have to pay a terrible price for it, though. The person who performs this ritual binds himself to the disc and is torn from the wheel of rebirth. The disc absorbs its owner's essence after his death, and it forever becomes a part of Heshibi. The person responsible for all this has either gone mad in their hunger for power, or has nothing left to lose. This is why the abbot suggested that we keep the shard until the conflict with the Wuku is over. He said that the shard will remain stable for a long time if nobody tries to use its energy. Meanwhile, 
They will try to find a new place to hide it. Excellent. Let's take the shard and head back to the Tulu before the scouts start following us. Esto creo que completamos el capítulo 3. Vale. De todas formas. Oh. While the heroes made plans, good news arrived from Wang Taishin. His informant on the Ryukyu Islands had found out some valuable information about Fudo, the Wuku leader. This person would meet them in the town of Naha, capital of Ryukyu. Half of the monks went there on Li Haibo's ship, while the other half stayed behind to protect the country from pirate raids. Vale. Pues en principio lo vamos a dejar aquí. ¿Dónde quito lo del borracho? ¿Listo? Ah, aquí. Apariencias. Vale. Maestro borracho desactivado, por favor. Capítulo 3, hemos recogido todas las estatuas, menos aquí. Así que como estamos todavía en el capítulo 3, oficialmente, voy a intentar uh, conseguirlas. Eso lo que daba esa y... A ver. Esta y esa. La del pantano. Vale, yo creo que sí, que esto te sirve para volver atrás y recuperar los, oh, sí, sí, los muñequitos. Así que habrá que abrir los ojos. Eso es una sombra. Eso es una sombra. Una sombra.
Ah, y este es el disfraz de... Lo bueno es que son una... En realidad lo que pasa es que las... Looks like these boxes contain. Y ahora tendré algo más. Modo jugador, cabeza pequeña, lo vamos a activar. Modo enemigo, cabeza pequeña también. Esto es un poco tontería. A ver, que son cositas un poco chorra, la verdad. ¿Qué quiere que te diga? Vamos a ir al otro que tenía movida. Este de aquí. Y hombre, si te dan puntos de... Para subir de nivel... Me gustaría forzar mi camino por la tierra. No sé, ya está bien. Ya puedes aquí... Racanear puntos de experiencia para subir de nivel a rato. Tampoco es buena. Aquí no me suena muchísimo la cara. Sí que lo del sexto lo vi. Pero esto no es que no. Fíjate que me metí por ahí detrás Pensando que el cero deshacía algo Pero no Bueno, yo creo que esto ya ¿Eh? ¿Esto qué es? El té blanco Ah, pues mira, que me faltaba Disminuye un daño Pues mira, este no, no lo había encontrado antes los saltos de los de negro de blanco
their noses in here again. No sé, un ogro por, des, por atraer a cinco oponentes a la vez. Pues sí que parece que te dan otra vez los uh, champiñones. A, 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 a ver qué hemos desbloqueado. Lo la cabeza pequeña no... No, no, no me ha hecho efecto. No sé por qué he hecho efecto, pero no me ha dado más. A coger varios para que para que tenga sentido ah vale pues nada pues esto estaría pues nada lo vamos a ir dejando por aquí y próximo día capítulo 2 el capítulo eh, a ver capítulo 2 hay 1 2 3 1 2 3 y 4 o sea que nada y capítulo 1 1 no tiene 1 sí 2 o sea, o sea que a ver si voy a repetirlo entero y como que paso. Pasando mucho. Lo dejamos aquí. Y el próximo día continuamos. Con estos nueve monos de Saulín. Hasta más ver.